What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I am The Hobbyist and today I'm going to show you one of the best ways I have found to have a portable RC tool station. Now I like to travel to my local RC track and that's a bit of a drive so when I do I like to have all my stuff kind of packed up and ready to go and so I use this. This is a tackle box meant for fishing that I found at Cabela's. I'm going to show you all of the things that I do with this tackle box and then show you uh, the best way to organize things and also what things I leave out of this storage system. So first of all I guess I should explain that this is a Plano tackle box. It's meant for fishing. It is multi-level. You can get different drawers for it. It's got a bunch of different compartments and I actually got this because one of my friends has the exact same one and it works fantastic for him. So let's look at the first compartment which is up top right here. I'm going to take it off the tripod here. If we look right here, oh, I'm stuck on the wire. Undo this and I have some storage for some basic tools. I got a T-wrench, some a bearing removal tool, some hobby knives, uh, super glue, some spare transmitter double A's, green slime, and then in here are some miscellaneous parts that I need to do something with at some point. But these are just small compartments and they fit in this clear little thing right here. But now, if we take off this latch and open it up, this is our big compartment, big top compartment. And this contains a ton of stuff. So I've got my big pliers right here, needle nose, uh, vice grips, channel lock pliers. I've got a massive multi-Allen key tool. I've got a screwdriver set. I've got stainless steel screws for emergency screws. I've got 3M tape in case a receiver or an ESC comes loose. I've got duct tape and electrical tape right here, scissors. This is called liquid gravity. This is what I use for weight in my crawlers. Here I've got some shock oils, uh, main, the ones that I use the most. Here, this is a temp gun I got from Harbor Freight, so you point it at a surface and then it will tell you, if I can get the right, you can kind of see. It says the temperature and you can change it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. Right underneath that, these are some Proline body clip tabs. These are very handy to have on site. Under here, I've got some automotive wheel weights for crawlers. And then these are two tools for removing wheel nuts. These are for eighth scale, these are for 10 scale. And then under here, I've got some of the RPM tools. So I've got the shock balancer, I've got the tow gauge, I've got the camber gauge, uh, simple things like that. So these are some of the bigger tools that I like to have at all times um, so I keep those in this big compartment in the tackle box right here. Now of course no fishing tackle box can just be a regular RC box so you have to have some snazzy RC stickers so I've got Hobbywing, PowerHD, RPP Hobby, RPM, Traxxas, Treel, Proline, J Concepts, Savox, In Control Hobbies which is my local hobby shop, Castle, I've got Axial right here and then this we found this in my in my dad's garage. I have no idea where he got these from, but this is fantastic. If you look closer here, it says caution radioactive materials. So that's just kind of a fun little thing to have in there. So now let's look at these drawers. Now you pop these two clips and this clear door folds down and you've got drawers. Now I've only got the four included drawers. However, my friend, he's got one of these and he's got multiple drawers and he swaps them out for whatever vehicle he's taking. So he has, you know, like a, a Traxxas section, he's got axial, things like that. I'm organized a little bit differently and I'm going to show you that right now. Now, starting with the top drawer, this is the only one that's got a dedicated brand purpose. This is for my race truck because I take this racing. So, hang on, let me lower you guys down a little bit. If we look right here, this has got all of my TLR and low C components. I've got spare bumpers, suspension arms, uh, spare body mounts, more spare bumpers, uh, spare battery mounts. I've got spare rear hubs. I've got spare steering knuckles, and I've got a bunch of smaller parts right here. This is my dedicated spare parts drawer for my race truck, and that is specifically because I bring this out to races all the time. So I need to have the ability to... I need to have the ability to have all my parts on me at all times. So now if we go down one to this one, this is a little bit more diverse. So this has got some miscellaneous parts. This is um, all Axial SEX24 spare parts, things like that. Here are some extra tools. 
here are all my uh, spare screws that aren't stainless steel and I've got all those just in this little thing right here these are the these are clips actually that are for lipo balance plugs so you don't rip the uh, plugs out these are some spare parts for a Traxxas T-Max uh, right here I've got some spare crawler parts this is my original SCX 10-3 bumper uh, I've got a, a steel drive shaft in here a spur gear from the hammer jaw um, so the more miscellaneous parts we've got some heat shrink in here CA glue two different brands and then right here I've got stickers my tuning screwdriver for the T-Max and also my glow igniter charging plug and so this is a bit more diverse and that's how I kind of like to spread it out so that it looks just a little bit better and I'm able to kind of pull out whatever I need depending on the purpose. So now if we move on to the third drawer, third drawer when we pull it out you can already see it through the clear top so it's easy to pull it out and see uh, depending on what you're looking for. Here I've got shock springs so these are for various different shocks. I've got T-Max shocks, uh, crawler shocks, tenacity shocks. Here are all my oils, or most of them anyway. I've got shock oils and diff fluids in here because uh, you never know what you're going to need. Right here I've got spare body clips. And then here are wheel hexes. So I've got some like wheel hex wideners, things like that. Here I've got, if I can grab it with one hand, ball bearings. It's always good to have spare ball bearings on you at all times, especially when you're racing. And then here I've got um, some spare drive shafts and stuff like that and then on top of it were just some uh, LED lights and then all of here are my spare electrical components so I've got a lot of servo wise extensions in here I've got a telemetry module for spectrum stuff I've got some receivers in here things like that that are all just kind of packed into this spot then here I've got wheel nuts so I've got uh, 8 scale wheel nuts and I've got 10 scale wheel nuts things like that um, these fell out Right here I've got a spot for associated parts, so these are things for my RC8. Uh, here are spare ball ends and pivot balls. Right here I've got pinion gears. And then right in here are servo horns. So again, very diverse, but once you get used to where you've organized your things, it works out quite well. Now for the last drawer. Now this one is all about tools. So. When I open this up, you can see I've got shock pliers, body reamers, zip ties, uh, a lot of electrical type pliers, body uh, scissors. Uh, in here I've got a tie rod wrench, another T wrench, some spare bits for my electric screwdriver, thread locker, uh, and then in here I've got some like precision scissors and a small ratcheting, uh, well, screwdriver, ratchet, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is all this is my tool section for all my specialty tools so when we close that close that back up that is all that i keep in this toolbox now if you probably noticed i don't keep all of my tools and all my stuff in this tackle box but i keep most of it and i try to keep it so that it's things that will fit multiple vehicles in here with the exception of the first one which is exclusively for low c stuff but uh, I've got like bigger spare parts for my other vehicles like the T-Max I've got a ton of spare arms and I don't need to keep them in here because if I'm not bringing the T-Max along then those big T-Max parts would just be wasting space so those have their own uh, special place that are in a bag and I can grab those along if I'm taking the T-Max along something like that uh, but there's also a few tools missing so for example if I open up my tool drawer right here these are my hex tools and those just won't fit uh, in here and these are one of those tools that are very easy to grab because they're in this case and so it's tools like that here's the easy start for the t-max things like that that i can quite easily pick up and put into my separate toolbox and i have a yellow tool chest that i put in my chargers and those types of tools and so it's good to have this as well as an extra tool chest like i have a, a about this big yellow one that I put chargers in and things like that and that's for the tools that you don't need to bring along as often but this I can grab it put it in the car bring whatever vehicles and I'm pretty much good to go so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment in the section below for what videos you'd like to see next I hope to see more of you guys 
trying this idea. It has worked so well for me and many other people, and it is much less expensive than getting an RC uh, parts sorter. So anyway guys, thank you all for watching. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.